Hey everyone, if you can't tell already, I'm doing the Draw My Life video, finally. Except this is just going to be about my AG dolls and how I got started with them. And also kind of about my YouTube somewhere in there. Um, so without further ado, let's get started with the video. Alright, so I'm starting off where I actually remember wanting my first doll. So my cousin Carly, if you're watching this, Carly, hi! She had got her first doll back in 2009, I want to say. She had brought her doll to my grandma's house, and I remember playing with her and her doll outside. Like, we would just put her in a wagon, and we kind of just pushed her around, and yeah, did all that stuff. Um, and I had thought to myself, I really want one of these dolls. Ever since I got to play with my cousin's doll, I knew I had to have one. So one day, I went on the computer and went on AG's website. And let me tell you guys, I actually went online like every day just to look at all of the dolls, which may seem a little excessive, but I kind of still do that today with some things. But I also knew that I wanted a doll that resembled Selena Gomez, who is my idol. So I searched through all of the dolls and found them that perfectly resembled her, which was my G25. She may not resemble her much now, but it did at the time. Or she did at the time. Back in 2010, the dolls were only $95, which seemed like a lot of money at the time, but is cheap compared to today's $115 price. After seeing my cousin's doll and going on AG's website, I decided to see what was on YouTube about AG. So I searched American Girl Doll and a bunch of videos came up. One of the YouTubers' usernames that I always used to watch was Steven Swoda Dancer. I watched a lot of her videos. I watched her how-to videos, hairstyles, and of course, her opening videos. After watching Sarah's opening videos, I got sucked into the YouTube vortex of even more opening videos of dolls. Again, I watched opening videos until I was able to get my very own American Girl doll. So it began. I decided to start saving my money to be able to buy a doll. How I did it is I actually added up my money on a piece of paper as I got it. And eventually I did save up over $100 to buy my very first doll. And let me tell you, that was a very exciting time. So came the day, which was August 27th, 2010. I asked my parents to go to the mall instead of hanging out with my cousins at my grandma's house because I felt like they were always there. I didn't mind, though, because I wanted an AG doll really bad. We got to the mall and went inside. As soon as I saw the AG place, I had a huge smile on my face and couldn't wait to find my doll. At the store, they had a wall of a bunch of different dolls. I searched through each of the dolls and eventually found the one that I had been looking for. I got My American Girl number 25. I also had enough money to buy a doll hairbrush. After buying my very first doll, I knew that there was an addiction that was just beginning. In 2011, I was lucky enough to buy Kanani with my Christmas money. At the time, I didn't have my YouTube channel yet, but I still pretended like I was filming an opening video of her. In February 2011, I created my YouTube channel, but I didn't start making videos until the summer of that year. In 2012, I was able to get three dolls throughout the year. Those dolls are McKenna, Elizabeth, and my G33, who I named Allie. For my birthday on January 30th, I got Julie Albright. I was so excited to get my first doll from my parents, if that makes sense. Like, they actually bought her for me. I didn't actually pay for her with my own money. During the time period of 2013-2014, I got four AG dolls, and those dolls were Sage, Isabel, Colette, which is number 55, and Caroline. Caroline, I got for Christmas in 2014. Going back a little to around September 2013, 
I made a choice to monetize my YouTube videos, which was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. And monetizing your videos is just like adding or being able to put ads on your videos and then you get paid by the views of that ad or something. So making money for something that I love doing was and still is a dream come true. Jumping ahead to 2015, this year was crazy because I got and or made eight American Girl dolls. Those dolls were Nikki, Grace, Caleb, Alina, Will, Mia, Summer, and Mary Ellen. Not in any particular order. In the current year, which is 2016, I have gotten slash made 11 dolls, which is even crazier than the previous year, which I only got eight. And when I actually wrote down number 11, I was like, wow, I'm such a crazy person getting 11 dolls. What, what is my problem? Over the years, my channel has hit many milestones. I wanted to thank you all for your support, and I wouldn't be here today without it. I hope to never leave AGTube, but someday I might have to do something else if everyone loses interest, which sounds really sad to say. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun making this, actually. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. But I kind of hope to make like an updated f part of this in the future, like just like an add-on to this because, you know, things are going to change and whatnot. So thank you all so much for watching again. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!